it's me C and welcome to my video it's been a while I actually haven't recorded a video since school started cuz I kind of wanted to get back into the swing of things so now that we're kind of more steady I am making a video of books you should be reading so I have a lot of books here and uh, actually not that many but I just wanted to um, kind of educate some people even though I don't know. I just did a lot of reading this summer and I really enjoyed some books and they might be something you've already read and if you haven't, maybe you can read them because since I'm your age, I'm Little Prince and I got this in London a few years ago and the first time I read it was right after I got it and I didn't understand it because it's a very complex book. Now it is for kids, it's not just like any teen adult book, but like I said, complex. So, as you can tell, it's not a very, uh, like, hard-to-read book. Um, but each page will take longer than any of the other books here. So, I actually finished this in a day, and it's a very interesting story that I think you should read before you, you know, um, try to figure out what you want to be when you grow up, or when you're trying to, like, find yourself. I liked this book a lot. I would definitely recommend it to anyone like teen, tween, mature, um, kid age. This is a series about a kind of dystopian world and it's 35 girls all fighting for the prince and the crown to be crowned a queen and it's like a competition. It's kind of like the Hunger Games but instead of it being like gross, it's like princessy but it's really not like fairy tale it's very good there's a love story and this girl um, I'm not gonna give anything away but she's just like so cool and she's not like this girly girl but she somehow finds her way into the selection so this is one book I read this summer and I really loved it and even though it's kind of a short book it's by Judy Bloom it's amazing it's about middle school and growing up and I have to say, since it was written a while ago, I can't relate to some of these things. Like, I still can, but I don't know. Things have changed a little bit. Um, I really like it. It was an amazing book. I definitely could see, like, my middle school story in this book. So I really liked it. And if you're going into middle school, I would recommend this. Now, this isn't a very unknown book and it's John Green so everyone kind of knows what the book is about it's um it was made into a major movie with Cara Delevingne which also wanted me gave me wants to read it because I wanted to read it before the movie came out and I knew I was gonna see it because Cara was in it and it was an amazing book the sad thing is it's not like the movie and I'm sure you're gonna like the book more so if you've already seen the movie, it's not like you're just going to be able to skim through it. It's such an interesting book and I loved it so much. I really grew to love characters I didn't think I was going to love anyway. So yeah. there is also a dystopian unit um, and we can read any dystopian book. Of course, I already added one in here, but I'm going to be reading Delirium, which is such an amazing book so far. Um, you can see the cover. Hold up. Here's the cover. It's very pretty. I love this cover. And all the covers kind of look like this, so this is how you know what book it is. I'm reading it on my iPad just because I don't want to have to lug a book to school. And I use my iPad at school all the time. But so far, it's really good. It seems like a cheesy love story, but already I'm like 20 pages into it and I'm like hooked. I don't know. I'm going to finish it soon. I'm so excited to figure out what the story is more about and develop the characters more. So that's a book I am reading slash I'm going to be reading. Hope you enjoyed this little book club. Maybe I'll do it again and I can tell you more about Delirium and all the other books I read. And I'll have a new book I'll be reading and maybe some of you guys can read it with me. Um, I'm just very excited to be back and in the swing of things. I will hopefully be uploading every Monday, I hope. I mean, I'm not going to make a schedule. 
until I know I'll be open that day. So I will make a video and make sure to include my new schedule once I figure it out. Thank you guys for kind of staying with me from this transition from summer to school. I will see you guys next time. Bye!